Let's start, Kwaku, with the, the West Ham point of view. It's another defensive signing after the likes of Kilman, John Claire Todibo. They could have a, a completely new, almost, back line for the start of the season. Incredible business from West Ham and credit goes to their technical director, Tim Stuyton, who's been the architect behind these moves. He flew with Tadebo to make sure that deal got over the line. And with wan we've been talking about it for the last couple of weeks. It looked like it was going to happen. And it's great for West Ham to finally get that over the line before the new season, because that's a position they need to strengthen in. Um, and if you look at this West Ham squad going into this new season, it's one of the strongest in the Premier League. They're, they're improving. And in the season where they haven't got European football, it's just such a stacked team and such a stacked squad. In terms of wan we know about his limitations and we saw that at Manchester United in terms of going forward. But defensively, he's an incredible one-on-one -on -one fullback. And West Ham fans are going to love him at London Stadium. He's going to be one of those blood and thunder defenders that really gives his all for the club. Um, he talks about it in a statement that he was born in London. He knows London very well, obviously, came through Crystal Palace. And it's great for him to go to a place where he can go and re-establish himself. And he's not yet declared for Congo in terms of national football. He hasn't played for England yet. So maybe this is a, a position for him to go and really stake a claim to start in a very competitive spot for England at right back. But this West Ham team, I'm just going through the signings. Like you mentioned, the defensive signings in Kilman and Tadebo, But signing a Somerville, full Krug, um, it's, just a, it's just a team that I'm very, very impressed with. And I think that the, the sky's the limit for this West Ham side who are improving transfer after transfer and I think that if they manage to assimilate and get everything together before the beginning of the season I think Lopetegui is going to be very happy with the business that mm. Tim Stuyton's helped get done and as, as Kwaku mentions there it's a good point you know wan strengths very much defensively so what does that tell you about the type of defender that Lopetegui likes well, I think, first of all, it shows that Julian Lopetegui, as soon as he walked through the doors of West Ham, thought, I need to rebuild that defence. I mean, we were talking earlier, facts that, you know, West Ham conceded the most goals outside the bottom three last season. So, I think for Julian Lopetegui, I think what he did at Wolves, for example, he took a team who were bottom of the table at that winter break at the World Cup, who, you know, weren't incredibly solid defensively. And I think it's really interesting what wan says there about having a team, he's walking into a team that he feels is together and the atmosphere has really stood out to him. I think that's what he created at Wolves. When I spoke to all the players there, they spoke about the environment, the mentality, Lopetegui, kind of the aura, that, that was what he gave off, really. So I think wan I'm really excited for him. This is very much the second chapter of his career, still mid-20s. He's back in London. I think maybe at the end of the season, maybe we look back on this move as one of the deals of the window. Do you think Man U fans, by and large, would wish him well? How would you sum up his time there? Absolutely. I, I, you can never speak for an entire fan base, but <laughs> I, I do believe that near enough every Manchester United fan um, will be wishing Aaron, Aaron Wambasaka well. He's been a fantastic servant for the football club. Yes, he came in for a huge price tag from Crystal Palace, maybe a little bit too high, but he's give his all for the club. He's an ultimate professional. He locks in. He doesn't complain. He's always available. He had a couple of injuries last season towards the end, but by and large, he's always available and does the job the manager asks him to do. Doesn't try to overplay or do something he's not comfortable with. He does what he's asked to do and turns up every, every week and puts it in. And, and having interviewed him a couple of times and been around him, he is a top, top professional and a, and a really good character. So, like, like Quaker said, West Ham fans are absolutely going to love him. You're going to see him at the London Stadium with last-minute, last-ditch tackles. <laughs> his, his spider legs are going to extend and take the ball <laughs> off a of Salah when they're playing Liverpool or whatever it may be. But West Ham fans will be really excited by him. I think it's a really good move for him. Yeah, really exciting time to be a West Ham fan in general, I think. So, the big news today for West Ham fans, Aaron wan is a West Ham player. He has moved from Manchester United for £15 million.